Hello, it's Anthony from the Culture Cave, and I come bearing breaking news. Britt Marling and Zalbat Munglich, the creators of the OA, have announced their new show, Retreat. Now, as we all know, if you're a fan of the OA, we've been hoping and hoping that the OA Season 3 would be announced, and there was some seemed to be some hints going on, and a game on Zalbat Munglich's Instagram, we were sort of clues... Maybe it was pointing to this show, maybe it's pointing to something in the future for the OA, we're not sure. But I'm going to dig into this news today anyway. Um, there may be some, some conspiracy theory stuff that I'm going to go into with the OA at the end of the video. But before that, I'm just going to focus on the new show that's been announced and let's see what we think of it. So any fans of the OA, make sure you hit a like on the video. I'm a big, big fan of the OA, I've covered it before on a podcast. And um, I'm definitely going to be covering season 3 that comes out. And I'm definitely going to be covering The Retreat if it comes out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button for all that content. Right, guys. So first thing I want to do is I want to have a look at the... There's a lot of announcements. So this leak, this... Not leak. It was given, uh, released through multiple, multiple news sources. And that is, for example, this one's Variety. The OA creators, Britt Marling, Zelbert Munglich, set mystery series retreat at fx so straight straight away a bit of a mystery series now the the oa was also a te technically i suppose a mystery series as well as a whole lot more we know that I'm, I'm intrigued because if we keep reading what i've what i've what i've gleaned from this is it might not be as mystical spiritual transcendental as the oa is this seems like it might be a slightly more grounded uh show having said that you never know it might go Go crazy. But basically, it says here, FX has ordered the limited series Retreat, written by the OA creators Britt Marling and Zalba Munglish. The mystery series is uh, a twist on the detective trope. So they're, set, they're, they're, they're building it up that it's going to be a twist on the detective trope. So actually, there will be a bit of creative storytelling here. Follows an amateur sleuth named Darby Hart as she attempts to solve a mur murder case at a secluded retreat. Both writers will direct... Uh, with Marling also playing a key role in the Who Done It, so they're labeling it as a Who Done It. Um, so we've has had a, a great Who Done It release in the last few years in Knives Out. Can this live up to it? Well, I'm sure it can. I'm a big, big fan of these writers. Um, now, what I'm interested in is the next part. Now, I, I, I think if this was just a down the line detective uh, sleuth Who Done It. I think I would still be excited about it because I do love these writers and they, they write characters with a lot of heart and I think that they could do a good good job with that. Almost like a clue type of thing that, that it sounds like here. But here's the interesting part. Britt Marling and Zalbert Munglich have delivered a suspenseful story that updates the classic mystery genre with a bold new character for our times. Now they're building up this character an awful lot. And I am really trying to wonder what that actually means. Like, they're building up this character of Darby Hart, a bold new character for our time. And if we go over to Britt Marling's Instagram, she also says in her announcement on her Instagram, back at it, uh, Zale and I have been writing intensely for over a year and a half on this. I never felt a character pour out of us like Darby Hart has. Very excited to bring it to you, bring it to the screen and you all think this one's a doozy. Very interesting. And then she's got some emojis there. A rabbit? And what's that? Let's see if I can zoom in here. Let's see. Oh, it's not actually showing me now. Okay. Zoomed in too far. A spot or a hole? Oh, follow the rabbit down the hole. Okay, gotcha. Follow the rabbit down the hole. That's what she's saying there. Very interesting. Very interesting. I'm really ex really intrigued by this idea of this bold new character for our times. I don't I don't really know what that means. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I'm, 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 it's very intriguing, but we've seen a lot of different types of characters, different types of detectives. I don't really know. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Um, I've got a conspiracy theory, but I'm going to leave that for a little later as well. Now, I will say as well that Zal has put onto his Instagram as well. Saying, um, so he wrote, Brit and I have been writing something. It's called Retreat. And then Brit also, actually, this is really interesting. Okay, so this is starting into my conspiracy theory now. So if, you, if you're if you not really into the OA conspiracy stuff, turn off now. Because this is, this is a little bit of conspiracy ridden. And I just will start, before I get into this conspiracy stuff, I just will say... If this, if Retreat is its own thing, standalone, a whodunit... 
and it sort of goes into themes potentially of of their disappointment that the OA was cancelled, things like that. I am a hundred percent all for it. I don't think everything these writers do in the future has to have anything to do with the OA. I'm all for it, and I'm going to support them, and I and I want to see what they do next. Having said that, let's go crazy here with a bit of conspiracy because it does say that um, Britt Marling has put up a, a post today as well uh, with the other one with the announcement, and it says. For all of the True Blue OA fans, we love you, we see you, and we promise that one way or another, we will find a way to keep telling the story. And then YCFM, which is, uh, you come find me, I believe. And that is actually, if you type that into uh, Netflix, the OA appears um, on the search bar. So that is a way they're sort of branding the show. So basically, right, there's a few things we can read into this. Or we, we could potentially read into it or not. This could just be a, a message to the OA fans because this isn't an announcement of OA Season 3 and they know that they're going to be disappointed. So therefore, she's just saying, listen, we know you're, you're upset. We're going to go and do this thing called Retreat for a bit and then we'll, we'll maybe get uh, something to do with the OA in the future. We want to tell that story. So here's the thing where it goes into a bit of conspiracy. I think there's a potential here for... Now, okay, spo- obviously spoilers for season two of the OA. I think there's potential here for this character of Darby Hart to be Prairie or the OA portraying her. Because in the universe that we see at the end of season two, I am a believer, and I've said before on a podcast, that. What is the thing that Hap would want to do? Hap would want to get the OA cancelled. So therefore, it makes sense to me that Prairie or um, Britt Marling in the show would still... And, and we do know as well that um, the OA is going to get lost within Britt Marling and need to be woken up. Uh, so uh, Britt Marling or the OA is going to forget who she is. Um, so it makes sense that she would continue to be an actress. So I would love it if they put clues in this show now i do believe this will be a standalone show i don't think this is going to turn into the oa i don't believe that but how cool would it be if brit and zal put in things into this show hoping that one day when they get to continue the oa retreat is actually brit marling or prairie or the oa as brit marling in a show within the, the oa universe that's my little conspiracy theory I think that would be pretty cool. I like like anything that anything that Brit Marling does from now on can be worked into an OA season three eventually if they want to, and that's what really excites me about this: the idea that we're going to be combing through every detail on this show, trying to find if there's anything at all to uh, to, to hook onto, you know. Um, so I'm really really excited, and I and I I wasn't expecting this. It came out a bit out of the blue for me, to be honest with you. I I was actually expecting that. The next thing they do would be something to do with the OA. My conspiracy theory says maybe it is, but I really, really am. I'm really, really am looking forward to this. Um, I didn't, I didn't, wasn't a fan of Britain Zal before the OA. So it's one of those things where the OA is really all I really know them for. I know they have other stuff as well, which I need to watch. I do, and I know I need to watch it. But um, it's been a long time coming, to be honest. We are waiting for another thing from them, and I'm just, I'm interested to see if anything else, if this isn't related to OA whatsoever I'm just interested to see what how their style carries over for it what's going on with this character who's a new character a bold new character for our time that's really intriguing me it's a mystery a whodunit guys there's lots to look forward to in that so like the video and uh subscribe to Culture Cave and I'll be keeping you updated any news that comes out about this show because I am very much uh, looking forward to it there's also 11 other characters within the house so there is going to be um Lots of ensemble cast. It's about catching a murderer. So classic whodunit stuff as well. So I am looking forward to it. Guys, thanks very much for listening. And I will catch you next time. Bye.